Hi YouTube, what you can see here is uh, a JTAG guys MK2 connected to um, my latest project and I have a problem with um, the can open stack because I suspect it makes my AVR crash and it does, I already confirmed it but uh, I want to show you how to use um, a GDB and DDD debugger combina combination to do debugging with an AVR. I made one video about this some time ago, but I think I can do this again. Of course, there's all in the make file. At first, what you have to do um, is starting a debug server, which requires a special tool which is called Everize. And what Everize does is uh, it actually flashes the CPU again, holds it in reset, and also automatically enables um, the debug fuses. There's this on-chip OCD enabled debug fuse, which is automatically enabled. Now, downloading is complete, and what happened right now is the AVR has its programming, but it's hold. There's no actual uh, execution of the program right now. What I do next is I start the backend. The backend is uh, GDB with um, yeah DDD as, as as a GUI. So here we go. Now this is the debugging window. This is where you can show data structures. This window up here, and this is the code. Now, it doesn't run it. Uh, at the moment, it's stopped. This is my code. And I say, my good friend, execute anything up to this point. And um, I do a breakpoint here by double clicking. It says stop. Which means um, set node ID will not be executed. So, now I say continue. Now, the, yeah, well, that, that was fast. All right, that's good. I have a, a very high baud rate. Um, that's nice. Um, now the program is right here. So, let's do something. Let's show this inclinometer mainboard data. This is a struct. Oh, yeah, that's what what I wanted to do. This is the data of the struct, the actual data. Um, the node ID will probably change after that. Where is the node ID? Node ID? Well, it has a lot of fields. Node. Yeah, this is this is node ID. The first line. All right. Let's let's now do another step. Set node ID. This one still works. Let's do a step. Well, didn't change. Hmm. Probably because the node ID is zero, and that's probably what th there is as a default. Well, great show effect. <laughs> but the problem now that, uh, is, I say here it shall switch the status LT to green, but it actually doesn't do that because the program crashes here at set state at this command. I do another step. And look what happens. Bam. It's back to set node ID, which means the program was actually reset. If something like that happens on the AVR, say you do an invalid memory access or whatever bad stuff, then the AVR just resets. The program starts over, goes to the point. Uh, to this point and starts over again and this is an endless loop and this is why where it will never reach status LED green but this is also a, what a few LEDs can do the power I mean with, with the LED you can at least check am I able to go into an interrupt routine is it called or does the program crash just like here I wouldn't have needed the debugger for this but it's just proof of point I guess um, yeah, I probably have to recompile the code now because um, I cannot get into this. Let's do step. 
So this is where... I don't know why it crashes here. I mean, this is... I, I, I'm really... That's not good. No line number information available. Uh, probably some problem with the sources here. That's not good. What we can do here is also say structure is not operator. Yeah, a structure is, is there, so it certainly isn't isn't null or something like that. So it has to be a problem within the code itself, within the routine itself. I mean, you see how, how you have to deconstruct this this stuff. Um, in order to debug an AVR, you need um, Avarice, you need um, some sort of GUI, or I want to do it on just on the shell, which is not very comfortable. Um, TDD, for example, this is TDD, an old style Unix GUI, and you need TDB with an AVR target. Yeah, yeah, this is it so far. I mean, I have to dig into this a little deeper, but I just wanted to show you um, what you can do. Right. Um, yeah, this is it for now, and <laughs> you see, I got my word cut out for me. Wish you a nice evening, thanks for watching and see you soon.